Now here's one for the beef producers. What if you were told that you could quadruple your per hectare live weight gains using existing strategies and do it profitably? Sound like an impossible target? Well that's exactly what they've done in Tasmania. The results of a five year research project have shown that many producers are seriously underusing their resources but that it doesn't take big changes to make big gains. Jane Drinkwater explains why. Ample feed for growing stock is a welcome sight, but how can producers be sure they utilise pasture to its full potential? Tasmanian producers have found some answers thanks to the state's Red Meat Targets program. Five years ago, the project's Winalia trial site set out to lift production to over four times the state's average, a challenge local producers watched with increasing interest. Well, I think the headline was uh, the initial aim for a thousand kilos of live weight gain per hectare and um, and then to hear that they were going to attempt 2,000 kilos we were pretty keen to go out and have a look how they were how they were attempting to achieve that. The project quantified live weight gain improvements resulting from the successive implementation of a number of known strategies. I think the the work that was done that preceded this was really looking at each of the components of this study in isolation. This study really took took the best of all, you know, the, the, the best practice of each of those components and combined them into a whole farm system. The first step was to find the most productive grazing system. Set stocked and a range of rotationally grazed trial paddocks were set up. And there was about 200 kilos per hectare live weight gain per hectare per year difference between the three systems. So in favour of the more intensive uh, grazing system and of course more rest for the plants. After transferring the best grazing system to all trial paddocks, the next step looked at fertiliser application. We applied nitrogen in three ways. Obviously none as a control uh, versus a couple of applications about 45 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year in, in the autumn and early winter, uh, compared to a system of putting 30 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per month uh, following the grazing rotation. And that, that was worth another three or 400 kilos of live weight gain per hectare per year and was profitable. The final step was to add irrigation to the mix. And the results? And come the field day, we've done 1,981 kilograms of beef per hectare. Leon was so impressed he implemented the findings across the entire enterprise. We've done it on whole farm and we've lifted our production here on this property from about 20 to 30 percent. I would suspect that 50 percent of that would be profit. Instead of having 1.86 hectares in a paddock we ended up with probably 10 or 12 hectares in a paddock and split that up into, into four. Even cows and calves are intensively grazed here and when we had sheep here, we'd done exactly the same with them. Shifted them, you know, every two or three days. Leon showed the strategies can be practical at a commercial level. If you go out and if you set your farm up to, to do that technology, like you fence it accordingly, uh, put your water troughs where they're supposed to be to, to coincide with your movements of your animals, um, one man can go round and he can go out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday for two hours on each of those days and move them animals and that's all that needs to be done. They look after themselves. The gains to be made will potentially just make the extra labour costs fade into insignificance. The results from here at Winalia demonstrate that a well-managed site using well-known production tools can lead to dramatic increases in productivity, profits and sustainability. It's not saying that everybody in temperate Australia aims to produce 2,000 kilos of live weight gain per hectare. You've got to uh, come up with the benchmark which um, is applicable to their system in their location in their year. And that's what it's really all about. If you take the principles, you've got to make them work for your system on your farm. Ian Dickinson is keen to do just that. Currently we're, we're on about 260 kilos per hectare across the grazing enterprise on the property. It should be able to be doubled. And the principles can be applied to any grazing enterprise. Wherever you have a grass-based livestock enterprise, it's relevant in my view. It's probably as or more relevant in the arid regions because the important part about block or rotational grazing is that rest period. And some of our environments need more rest than others, otherwise it's not sustainable. The Winnerlea trial is just one success story from the Red Meat Targets project. 
A $2 million collaboration between producer groups, Meat and Livestock Australia, the Department of Primary Industries and the Tasmanian Institute of Agricultural Research, the program examined numerous strategies across cattle and sheep production. In the Red Meat Targets program we were able to look at new cultivars, we were able to look at grazing management, we were able to look at strategic fertiliser application and we were able to look at how we can integrate um, grazing management under, uh, for grazing cereals under irrigation and how that land production system complements uh, grain production systems. And that's what attracts MLA, it's a whole of industry approach to integration of R&D with very strong industry stakeholders, really strong industry engagement and most importantly that led to very strong adoption and demonstrated that there are significant benefits for red meat producers in southern Australia. Information gained will be made available in a number of documents. Our Red Meat Targets program has also produced a, um, a, a prime cuts document. That's a, an overview of all the results that we've achieved across uh, our very many projects. And we're trying to um, produce some new documents which will provide a how-to formula. Here, utilisation was uh, driven to a new level that was far in excess of what was already existing on this location. The project provides practical proof that by combining well-known strategies, producers can make big gains. The illustration of what's really been achievable is uh, something which can make the, the MLA more beef from pastures manual come to life. And it illustrates the, 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 produce, uh, the procedures that are within that manual and what they can really achieve if you put them into place on your own farm. Yeah, you've got to be open to new technology and not be too frightened to use it. And if you are to be frightened, have a talk to somebody that's been there. That's the best idea.